the energy of Puerto Rico, Lithuania was just different, was just different. Um, we're going to go through all of this. So FIBA Olympic qualifying is done. The field for the Olympics is now set. We know exactly who the 12 teams are that are going to be competing in the men's basketball portion of the Summer Olympic Games. We know what well, we've known for the women's side already, and we'll be covering that also as we get to the Olympics. They didn't have FIBA qualifying this late because we've already known who the 12 teams are going to be uh, in the Olympics. The Olympic field of 12, the eight that qualified prior to FIBA qualifying tournaments this week. France is the host. They get an automatic bid. Germany won the World Cup. Serbia was second in the World Cup. Top two finishes from Europe. They advance. Okay. So you have France, you have Germany, you have Serbia, you have Australia, you have Japan, you have South Sudan, you have USA, you have Canada. The four teams today that join that group of eight that will be in the Olympics. Brazil won an Olympic qualifying tournament. They'll be in the Olympics for the third time in the last four tries. Spain, seven straight Olympics for Spain, who have medaled three times in that span. You also have Greece, who is going to the Olympics for the first time since 2008. And then you have Puerto Rico, who is going for the first time since 2004. And for the first time ever, the Puerto Rican men's and women's national team are going to the Olympics at the same time, because that's never happened before. The women's national team is also going to be there. So we're going to start with... We'll start with Puerto Rico because that just happened a little while ago. I was getting off of one job <laughs> and I was like, man, I got to do a stream. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm of Puerto Rican descent. I born and raised in New York City, been to Puerto Rico uh, different times, but my family comes from there. Uh, my dad's from San Lorenzo. My mother's from there, also grew up uh, mostly in Spanish Harlem, but, you know, yada, yada, yada. And I was obviously watching the game because, well, one, doing a job <laughs> first and foremost but two you know there's a level of like hey like could they actually do this because the last time puerto rico made it to the olympics i was 10 years old when carlos arroyo did what he did against team usa they play against lithuania um and the energy has been crazy like even when they played against bahrain earlier on in the tournament energy was crazy they play against lithuania lithuania is not a good matchup for puerto rico um but in an action network preview with joe delera and i I laid out the case for, hey, Puerto Rico plus 470 long shot bet to win the tournament. It's worth a grab because home court and also their shooting, their three point shooting in particular. They're just a team that's going to bomb away from three. And as you can see, also their guards in particular, Jose Alvarado, Tremont Waters are shifty. And Lithuania had a hard time keeping up with that. So in the actual game, it's 19-19 at the end of the first. Uh, Puerto Rico has a slight lead at halftime. Uh, they build the lead in the third quarter and then sort of break the game open late. And then it's like, oh, man, like they're actually they're on the verge of doing this. And then it starts kind of hitting me a little bit. It was so crazy. Um, Puerto Rico actually makes it to the Olympics for the first time in 20 years. This is a team that has kind of struggled on this stage. Like they've gotten to the finals of Olympic qualifiers before. They've gotten to the semifinals and lost. They kept running up against Italy a couple of different times, lost to them in the World Cup as well, and they overcame that. They've never beaten Lithuania before, overcame that. And now they're going to the Olympics. Jose Alvarado, Tremont Waters, um, George Condit, the fourth. Puerto Rico finally has a legitimate center. They haven't had one of those in a while in the program. No disrespect to anybody in particular, but George Condit, the fourth, if you've been following along with like basketball outside of the NBA, he's sort of developed into a, a real player, not just in the G League, but also in Puerto Rico's domestic league. Uh, maybe someone will give him a look at Summer League one day. So Puerto Rico is going to be in the field again. That's one of the four teams that advanced. And that was the biggest underdog who advanced. So I felt like it was worth highlighting them first because at plus 470, just a massive, massive, massive underdog. Um, and I think that as a result, like we'll, we'll see what group they're in. We'll see who they match up with. But they're going to be a tricky matchup for some teams in the World Cup because of the guard play, because of the shooting, because how fast paced they're going to be and or how fast paced they prefer to play at times. Um, 
and also just an emotional team, like a team that feeds off of emotion. They prop they won't, you know, they won't be in San Juan. So we'll see how they navigate that. Paris is very different, but they're gonna be in the Olympics, no less. And uh wow, what a run because that roster, some people had questions like, oh, where's you know, Julian Strother? Where's this person? Where's that person? And ultimately Carlos Arroyo uh looks good as a GM for people who don't know Carlos Arroyo's GM of the national team. So Puerto Rico wins and they're gonna advance to the Olympics. They went undefeated also in their run, which is worth noting as well, because that's not something that typically happens either. Um, plus 470, unbelievable. Okay. <laughs> Sean, actually, I just caught this. Hell yeah, cash that. This was a reference to Puerto Rico being a plus 470 underdog and winning the tournament, which is something I said, hey, worth a look um, beforehand. Let me see. Michael Colazzo, thank you for checking in. Great win by Puerto Rico. Abajo la colonia. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe. YouTube.com slash Brian Fonseca. And yeah, we'll be having more stuff coming on the channel very soon, all summer experimentation, things of that nature. So thank you all for being here and paying attention to the FIBA coverage. I'm doing what I can because this, this shit is not, it's not easy to get up, get all this information and pass it along, so to speak. Uh, thank you all for watching. Take care and have a good one.